This is football analysis, and I'm here with Gunners. Number one, the new quarter finalist babies. Arsenal. 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 That is the chant. Arsenal. Not London babies. All right, all right, all right. So um you are here because of the backlash between yes, the first I am and second. Yes, yes, I'm here to to counter uh, my neighboring teams which don't doesn't have a, a structure. They are banting me, they are saying uh, rubbish, they are saying things that they don't know about my club. I'm here to tackle them and counter whatsoever they've said. All right, so do you think any of the things they said was right? How is it going to be right? What do you expect from them? You should expect negative vibe, negative uh, agenda, negative comments from them because they are not doing well. The thing is, when someone is not doing fine, he's go definitely going to find someone that is not doing fine as well. Don't just want to go body and join them with you. When someone is making progress, you have to help the person. Yes, you are not doing fine. You learn. Not that you start criticizing and start saying negative things about the person. All because you are not performing well. This uh, Asna project is not something that's, that started uh, uh, yesterday. It is, it is a long process. At this Ateta project, you can see, it has started since 2020. So they didn't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. They never saw that thing coming. So they expected, They just felt like, okay, they just slept and woke up and started uh, winning games and started performing uh, like that, like a machine, working like a machine. So I don't, I don't believe them because they are nowhere we are. And they don't know the feeling. I don't think they have that feeling. You see, when they win a match, they're always rejoicing and shouting. I'm already used to winning. When I win game, I win with ease. I score goals. No calls on my players. No regrets that I bought. I, I I bought this player. Every of my player that I bought, they worth the penny. Every player. I will say this and I will keep saying it. Every of my player, those uh, the ones that people feel like they are they have been used in another team and I bought them, they worth it. They delivered. See how that this season. Yes, the first when he, when he was bought when when I data bought him, I don't know who, who saw the quality in him. We were criticizing him that this one, what is he going to do? Leftover, uh, Chelsea leftover, and he came to uh, he came to Arsenal and he was used as first nine because Arsenal have been having problem with uh, a striker. But yet you can see it's outstanding performance. He has delivered in three two different uh, tight angles for us. To gain three points, he has given us six important uh, points this season against Bradford. Oh man, away! He was subbed in uh, for the for the match for the first leg, and he scored the, the winning goal. It was one zero, and against uh, this last match against Brentford, he scored the winning goal as well, making six points. So what else do we want? Is that not the beauty of a player to to be able to deliver when needed? So what are they expecting? Come on with your... Were they angry because you are doing well? Or were they angry because it's Asna that is doing well? They are angry in a lot of uh, in the different ways. They are angry with the pattern that we are using. Because they feel like, what kind of pattern is Ateta using? How is he doing it? How Ateta? Have they forgotten that his first season in Asna, he won a cup? FA Cup. He won the cup as first, first uh, manager of the team. That's, that was a good start. But they never saw that coming. They didn't know the plan he had for the team. Someone that has had agenda, you, he has the agenda. He was once a player in, uh, for the club. So he know what the club is lacking. Then he be okay, come together. Okay, these are the players we need. These are the ones we don't need. Flush them out. Okay, you, you need to go to another team. You're a good player, but we don't need you in the pro in this project. Go to another team. Can I see the likes of uh, Bellerin, um, Granisaka, uh, who again? Tieni. They are doing fine in their respective teams they, they, that they, they were being sold to. So, you just have to learn from uh, people that are winning. Not just you just come here and just say things that you don't know. 
So Asna are doing fine because they feel like Asna are using different pattern. They are using young talented players. Saka Odegaard. See this player Martinelli. I can bet it with you that if you look at this Premier League team, Premier League uh, stats across all the teams in Premier League now, it is Arsenal that has more goal contribution compared to any other team. Starting from the defense, no, let me start from the the keeper, the goalkeeper. That's a very good clean sheet. Ahead, ahead, ahead. Ororo de my head. <laughs> yes, ahead, ahead. Good uh, clean sheet. My defenders, good contribution. My uh, Ben White, you can see. Ben White has four goals. He shredded Ben White into pieces. Saying that Ben oh, White. That one doesn't. You, you, okay, do you want to compare the Ben White with. Uh, that is a. Uh, that is trash that was being disgraced by uh, Gabriel Jesus. That lot. Compare them. That lot has just one goal. So, is that the beauty of a player? And he also bullied Gabriel Jesus. I saw what he said about Gabriel Jesus. He said Gabriel Jesus doesn't know it, uh, his position on the pitch. Yes, Gabriel Jesus suffered some injuries and which is affecting his career. But nevertheless, he always delivers when needed. Even if he's not going to score. Gabriel Jesus is just like a, just like a threat in, 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 in a team. Whenever he's subbed in or being used, at least... At least go and watch Gabriel Jesus match. He will be. He will, he's going to win at least five fouls. And so, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, our expectation? Win fouls, score goals. If you can't score, win fouls. Fouls, free kick, set piece are part of the things that make uh, that, that's part of being, the pressure that has been applied on the opponent. When you are winning fouls, okay, set piece, you cross both. So, what else do you need again? So he called all your players, substandard so players, that they are not, you know, uh, liable to win Champions League or Premier League. How many goals did he uh, call? I saw, I saw, an, I saw his comment about uh, Gabriel, uh, my big Gabby at the back. Thank God he didn't mention Saliba, my Rolls Royce, <laughs> Rolls Royce baby, fine, handsome, confidence, composure player. He has the quality. The confidence is there. Everything is there. Before he can make mistake, you to be very. You find it very hard to see his mistake. Thank God he didn't mention Saliba. It's Gabi you can mention because he feel like okay, Gabi has been a, has been this player that uh, is not uh, is not that stable or maybe he has uh, errors. You can see Gabriel uh, Gabi now. Gabi is doing fine. Scored goals for us against Liverpool. He scored header. See, he, Okay, comp he should worry about his own defenders. Worry about your players that are not doing fine. They are getting paid. You are paying someone and he's doing that for you. you your work down is equal to zero. Look at the table. Just go through the table. Glance through the table. So he's at the top. Arsenal. 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 My goal difference is 46. Manchester United total point is 47. My goal difference, I, I can only compare my goal difference and the Manchester United uh, uh, points, total points. And they've scored 39 goals this season and considered 39 goals, they have zero goal difference. So that one is not even, uh, there's nothing to rhyme, write home about. And you are there, Banty. Okay, you are telling me, there's no assurance that they are going for Champions League next season. I'm coming for Chelsea as well. I saw the, I'm coming for that. That one is, is, a, is, is another case entirely. It is not certain that Man, Man U is going for Champions League. Because if you look at the table, Arsenal, um, I think Liverpool, Manchester City, Tottenham. I think Tottenham before Aston Villa or Aston Villa before Tottenham. But I know that Manchester United, I don't have business with uh, Tottenham and Aston Villa. But I know Manchester United is in the, in the sixth position. How do you want to do it? Do you want to bypass? Or how do you want to? You have to play match. You have to win. And Tottenham and Aston Villa are also there. They are not there to play. They are getting paid. They are players. So they have to win. They, are, they, they like good things. They want to also go to Champions League. Champions, going to Champions League is an achievement. What do you have to say about Martin Odegaard? Because he made mention of Martin Odegaard uh, comparing, you know, Bruno, you know. 
something that is crystal clear. It is crystal clear that Martin Odegaard has a very great impact in Arsenal team currently. He has a very good contributions in the terms of uh, goal scoring, assist, big chances created, chances that have been created by that by that, 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 that player, that fantastic player. You should call him King Odegaard. King Odegaard. He's not that aggressive player, but when he plays, you know that this one is hungry. Arsenal are hungry for goals. They are hungry for trophies. See the see the pass he gave uh, the other parallel pass he gave Trossard and uh, Donny Porto. The pass pass through three players. They can't see it. Just like John Cena, you can't see me. You can't see that pass. You throw the pass. He gave him a very fine pass, and it was a finished, very good finishing from uh, for uh, Trossard. So what else do you expect from a player? What else do you expect from a midfielder like uh, Odegaard? You want to compare with your Bruno? You want to compare with your Kobe Mino? Your Casemiro? That old man. That old man has achieved uh, enough. Let him go and rest. Yes. You can't compare the Odegaard with all those ones. He has achieved enough in Real Madrid before coming to... Just coming to Madrid to just to play around. Just to collect their money. If you look at Manchester United in team now, who do they want to compare with uh, Saka? With his current form? Anthony? That trash? That boy is just a plunker. It's just a plunker. Just there to collect their money. If if not that uh, Eric Tiang doesn't have sense, or you don't know what you are doing, you went to Ayas, you saw two, two players, okay, you feel like it was Anthony that is the right person to sign. And uh, unfortunately, West Ham went for the right player, which was Kudus. You went to sign Anthony. You went to sign a dancer. You went to sign Michael Jackson. Are they playing on the field? Are they dancing on the field? You carry but you you start dancing. Is that what they bought you for? Score goals. You are a fucking winger. You are there dancing on the pitch. You want to compare with Saka? Who do you want to compare? They don't. They can't. They don't even have. I compare you again. Are you saying the uh, Gabriel Jesus? Gabriel Jesus. Uh, uh come on. That the 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 finished uh Dalot in the box setting. You can see the way you can see the <laughs> I can I can't just I can't just imagine what happened that day. So he was just flushed out. What do you have to say about the Gabriel Jesus incident? Because it's still not clear. How could you do that? How could you even say Gabriel Jesus is not a player? Gabriel Jesus that was a uh, substitute in against Man Manchester United in during our, our our win against Man Manchester United 3-1. He was substituting and you can see the what he did to that lot. Can you see that? Can you remember? If he's watching this, you should remember that lot almost got injured that day because the flushing was it was as if you were flushing, it was as if you went to the toilet and you want to flush your, you know. He was he flushed him out. Mm -hmm. And uh, Onana was Onana came and what do you want to catch? Like a like a bat, you open your wing, you want to, your, your wing, you want to fly. Come on, don't do that. It was, it was a fantastic and sweet goal. You send him out of the net. He, the net shape that day. You then don't compare Saka. Saka is a young talented player. You can see his goals, you can see his assists, you can see the chances he has created. A very good left footer, and as well, his right foot is, is, is as strong as a stronger than some other uh, players uh, right foot so what else do you need from saka that you've not seen so you should not compare saka with anybody and you should not mention that star boy name anyhow right. mention him whenever you're comparing big bigger players don't mention him anyhow all right so coming to chelsea you saw what the Chelsea fan did so what do you have to say about that chelsea chelsea i don't they're not even in my they're not in my level at the moment currently all they will have to say is uh, 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 their past record, they are this thing, they are that. Look at the table now. Where are they? They are heading home. You see, they are in the level position now. And I'm very sure if care is not taken, they will be marooned in that uh, 13 position. Is that their home? Ah, uh, that is their Stafford Bridge now. They are not. <laughs> Go ask any Chelsea player, you see, ask them. Where is their position? They will definitely they are still coming down, they are still going to drop. 
you know when you use eye drop it's going to drop down so that's the same way they will drop to the to the 30 position they are not going to champions league they are not going it's very sure they did after spending that amount but casedo but uh, galaga but enzo uh we're going to buy they bought in nicola jackson they are telling me they want to be the project what kind of project you flush out uh, quality players is that how to do things I feel the reason why this is happening, why they are dragging us now, why they are doing this, why they are criticizing, is because they are below me. They are at my bottom. So they feel like, okay, because I'm at the top, they feel like they can drag me down. No. And they, they will always talk about people at the top. You can never see people at the down talking about people at the down. At the bottom, people at the bottom talking about people at the bottom. They will talk at the people at the top. And that is what is, that keeps us now going. Once you talk about them, that is like a motivation for them. They will keep going because they are talking about them. They want to ex uh, impress you that they want they want their position. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it's finished. It's finished. So if you are watching, please keep watching, and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Football Analysis, and also don't forget to follow us on all social media handle at Football Analysis. Thank you guys for watching, and see you on the next one. Ah, so now.